Okay, so here we go, not ready, not using the lights, the tripod or anything to make a video, but it's important for me to share this when I have the thoughts. <laughs> and um, I just finished my yoga and I wanted to share with you that um, my yoga journey started just doing the asanas, the position, for the sake of doing them like everyone else. And then um, I started to understand that if you bring the breathing, you go deeper. And then if you do a conscious yoga, you are entirely connected. And it's magical what can happen. But this didn't come, um, haven't show up like from day one to day three. Um, I've been doing yoga for four years, like in intensively now, and I became a yoga teacher two years ago. Um, and becoming a yoga teacher obviously deepened my practice, and I understand now much more, and I'm doing my practice even more um, in conscious which is normal because I learned all the basics and the philosophy and um, it became a passion. What I wanted to share is um, it's really important, in my opinion, to always keep a beginner's mind when we do everything in life in general, but when we do yoga. Because by doing yoga every day or two times a week we create as human we always create habits because through the habits we feel comfortable and it become a comfort zone which is really good to create habits but it's also really and always really important to stay in this i am still learning kind of mentality even if you've done yoga for 30 years you should keep this beginner beginner's mind because you can always be surprised and um, this apply on the mat and off the mat in your life in general and um, so that was the first point so the second point i wanted to share with you is we are cyclic beings and especially women, we are connected to the moon. Uh, we've got periods and we are cyclic. So in my case, if I give you my case as an example, um, I can be really, I can feel really strong for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. And I'm going to do power yoga and build some core muscles because core muscles are really important to support the entire body. So it's something we should, even if we love restorative yoga, it's something we should integrate in our practice in a really lovely and smooth... Sorry for the bell, it's my kitten. <laughs> She's got a new color and she hates it. Uh, so, yes we should integrate some core muscles but in a smooth and gentle way not like da 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 abs 40 repetition no three are enough and it's just something you have to build um slowly slowly because more you build um muscles core muscles more it's going to be easy for you to like don't feel it as an effort uh, but what I wanted to say is, like, because we are cyclic, um, in my case, I'm really empowered just after my period. And those two weeks just after, I'm really creative. And on the yoga mat, my flexibility is amplified. I'm strong. I can do core muscles. Um, I can succeed at crow, for instance, or I can uh, bend with my legs um, behind my head more easily. And then the week before my period, anxiety starts to show up. So I do more restorative and calming uh, yoga. And if I'm honest, I'm less flexible and I don't have the energy to do some core muscles. So I'm just focusing on restorative and uh, more relaxing yoga. 
then i've got my period um and i feel a bit more energized but i avoid certain uh, inversions so all of this to say that if you do a conscious yoga you are gonna listen to your body and to your needs and even after have done yoga every day for the last uh, three years or three and a half years sometimes I'm not flexible and some days I'm ultra flexible. Some days I'm like, okay, today uh, 45 minutes of like core muscles and powerful yoga. And sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I need to calm the anxiety. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I need relaxation for a week. I'm just listening to myself. And it's really, really, really important for you to listen to yourself. The last point I wanted to share is... Um, try to change the habits you generate on your yoga mat for example we always cross the leg like with the same leg on top of the other one or we always place the same thumb on top of the other one when we interlace the fingers so try just to shake a bit your habits and cross the opposite legs and put the opposite thumb on top and you're gonna feel weird in the beginning and I still feel weird when I do this but I'm trying to do this every day and by doing so you're creating a habit that you are able to change your habits and if this apply on the mat this will apply in your daily life and this is really a really really magical tool to have um also try to close your eyes while doing yoga so obviously i'm not able to close my eyes when i'm doing like um, a balanced position uh, but i'm trying every time and it's it's like removing me out of balance <laughs> uh, but like when you're on the floor or when you feel you can close your eyes and really makes this a habit on your mat because by closing our eyes we feel we are into the feeling because we can't see and you close your eyes you focus on your breathe and you follow the lead of the guide the yoga teacher or, or the yoga video which is still a yoga guide <laughs> um try to add this to your practice and if it feels weird it's a good sign, so keep doing it, okay? I love you so much, have a beautiful day. Uh, it's really sunny in the UK, which is not really common, so I'm really happy. This morning I went to have a massive walk on the beach, it was really lovely. Um, take care of yourself, always put yourself first. Even if you have kids, try to put yourself first, because your happiness and the love you have for yourself will always reflect on the people you love. I love you and we'll talk soon. Don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and um, share if you want to share and uh, like if you loved it. And if you're curious, you can go to the website I'm going to link down below, meetyoursoulyoga.com. Um, love you!